Hi, everybody. In this video, we're going to learn about possessive adjectives. We use possessive adjectives to show that something belongs to me or something belongs to someone else. I own something or someone owns something. Okay, so let's take a look at the board. Now, last time we learned about subjective pronouns, and here they are I, he, she, it, you, we, they. And here are the possessive adjectives. Okay, my. We use my to show that something belongs to me. Okay. His. This means that something belongs to one man or one boy. Her. We use that to show something belongs to one woman or one girl. It's. We use it's to show that something belongs to an animal. We use your to show that something belongs to you. Okay? Our. Our means that something belongs to me and you, or me and somebody else, okay, or me and other people. Okay? And last, we use there to show that something belongs to many people, okay? Not me, but many people, okay? Now, I want you to pay attention to three special words. It's, your, and their. Now, I want you to notice these words sound like other words, so you have to be careful not to get them confused. And I'm going to explain. It's sounds like the contraction for it is. It's. Okay, so don't get that confused. Your sounds like the contraction for you are. Your. Okay, so make sure you use this one to show possession. Okay, and the last word, there, it actually sounds like two other words. Uh, the contraction for they are, there, or the word T-H-E-R-E. The other word there. Okay? So please don't get those confused. Now I know all of this sounds very hard, but if you practice with me, I'm sure you'll understand. So let's move on to the next part. Okay, let's practice together. Now here I have a marker. It belongs to me. So I have to say, this is my marker. This isn't your marker. This is my marker. Okay, let's look at this boy. He has a hat. So I have to say, this is his hat. This is his hat. This isn't my hat. This isn't your hat. Okay, and this girl has a dress. So this is her dress. This is her dress. This isn't my dress. This isn't your dress. Okay, in this picture, there's an animal, a dog, and it has a ball. I have to say, this is its ball. This is its ball. This isn't my ball, and this isn't your ball. Now, in this picture, we have two people, okay, and they both own this house. So, this is their house. This is their house. Okay, now a little bit farther away, we have three books. Okay, and this boy and girl have the books here. So, we have to say those. And because we have more than one, we have to use are. Okay, those are their books. Those are their books. Those aren't my books. Those aren't your books. Okay, and the last one, here's the country Korea. Okay, we all live here, so we say, this is our country. This is our country. Okay, let's move on to the next part for some more practice. 
Here are some practice sentences. We're going to put possessive adjectives on these lines. Okay, so let's try together. I put candy in hmm, mouth. Okay, this is a mouth. I put candy in, what should we put? My mouth. Okay, next, John. John is one man or boy. John lost hmm, bag. Okay, for one man or boy, we say his. John lost his bag. Okay, the parents. That's more than one person. That's two people. So the parents love hmm, baby. We have to put their. The parents love their baby. Okay, and here the dog. Okay, the dog is an animal. So the dog eats hmm, food. What do we put? We have to say it's. The dog eats its food. Okay, let's look at some more examples. Let's continue. Hmm, names are Paul and Sam. Okay, we have two people, Paul and Sam, and the plural names. So we have to say their. Their names are Paul and Sam. Okay, can I use hmm, phone? Okay, I'm asking you. So I have to say, can I use your phone? Okay, and the next one, hmm, makeup looks good. Whose makeup? Well, usually girls or women wear makeup. So I'm going to say, her makeup looks good. Okay, and mm, videos are helpful to you. Okay, these are the videos that we make, right? We teach English in these videos. So the answer is our. Our videos are helpful to you, or we sure hope they are. Okay, so in this video, we learned how to use possessive adjectives. Don't forget, you have to put a noun after each one. I hope you understand, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!